Hi, my name is Michael and this is the LG Optimus G. In this video, I'll be going through some of the software features this phone has to offer. In an earlier video, I took a look at the hardware and if you haven't seen this, I suggest you take some time to watch that. The LG Optimus G runs Android Jelly Bean version 4.1.2 and that alone has some great features. In this video, however, I will be concentrating on the features that are exclusive to this phone, or at least to LG phones. First I want to start off with some small features and work up to some of the features LG are using as selling points for this phone. LG has added a ton of extra features to the Android version, of which many have some great functionalities. On the lock screen, you have the possibility to start up in phone, messaging, Google and camera. These can be switched to any app you want, but you can only have four. To unlock the phone, just slide to the side, and, or actually any direction, and any way you want, as long as it is not the four shortcuts. On the home screen, if you do a pinch to zoom, it removes the icon on which is to show the wallpaper. A zoom out takes you back, and a zoom out more takes you to manage home screen as per usual. LG has made it possible for everyone to get the icons they want. That's right, you can even change the freaking icons on the home screen. With a long press on an icon, you get a little violet brush icon on the upper right corner of the icon. With this you can change the icon or make it bigger. A 1x1 one one changes into a 2x2. Two two. You can also take a photo and use that as an icon or you can use an image for your gallery. This really helps you to make your phone yours. Uh, see just got in, let me get this right there and you press it again you get into this. Here you can create your photo icon where you can choose from either the gallery or to take a photo. And here you can make it bigger and choose the big one and you have a big icon. Some of the icons can even be resized on the fly. These are the stock ones. And if you do this, they turn into a widget. That's pretty smart. Boop, back again to with you. In the sound settings, you find wise ringtone. This feature will automatically increase the volume of your ringtone if the ambient noise is too loud. That way, there's a greater chance for you to hear the ringtone. The alarm has also got a new feature, which is for the individual alarms you set. And it's called Auto App Starter. And this launches a preset application, which is either calendar, email, music, task, or weather. This is launched when you dismiss the alarm. Making your preparation time in the morning go a little faster with all the information prepared on your screen, as they say from LG. Basically, this means that when you dismiss the alarm, it jumps into, for example, the weather app to show you what weather to expect, or maybe you'd rather have the calendar to show what you have planned for today as meeting as such. You can also snooze by just turning the phone over, but then you can't see the information. Another feature that LG has made available is the live zooming. This feature makes it possible to zoom in on a video while it's playing. Heck, it allows you to zoom on a video, which in itself is pretty crazy. When a video is playing, you simply pitch the zoom as you would normally do with an image, and it zooms in, making it easier to see what's happening in that area, if it's a more stable video than the one I made right here. Related to uh, pinch to zoom, uh, well, live zoom as they call it, uh, is screen zooming, and this makes it possible to zoom in on the screen without having to mess with the DPI or settings. 
if you're in the messaging app you can zoom in if you have forgotten your glasses or anything you can zoom in and then the text gets bigger and you can zoom out again this is actually this is pretty neat image gets bigger too and you can use it in the gallery and you can choose how many you want to see oh. let's open the gallery again go back that's my cat and you can zoom in there we go zoom in zoom in zoom in to two and you can zoom out zoom out zoom out that's pretty neat I must say I'm I'm impressed with this and you can do it uh, many places almost all places actually now we're moving on to some of the function that LG is really um, selling this phone on they have the zooming that they also do a bit but now we're in the big players we have the Q slide the Q slide makes it possible to have something in an overlay on the phone and you can react to things through it for example you can have the video again and by pressing up here we actually make it into an overlay and we can set the transparency of this too and if we set it down we can actually react through the video and we put it up again and then the re video reacts again <clears throat> by having this transparency and then locking it you can have the video going as a pretty big video which you normally wouldn't you would have to hide it in a little corner where you can't see anything at all but when but with this transparency you can have it running and you can text while you're still watching the movie or video or lecture or whatever you have a, a video of Another feature that is quite related to the queue slide in, in some way is the quick memo. The quick memo can be accessed through the notification bar and press in the quick memo link. But it can also be accessed by pressing the up and volume down button at the same time. Like that. This feature lets you write on the screen and it effectively stops everything else from working and you can just write on it you can also choose the color and the thickness and style of what you're writing and you can of course remove it again if this kind of seems gimmick gimmicky to you i can understand it because if you can see what it's used for then it's a, it's a gimmick to you but some it might be useful if you see something on your screen you have the possibility to say draw an error say I'll beat you I'm not good at this so don't just this but it and you can save it as a memo save to notebook and then you can share that with anybody another place where this might be used is if you're having a call and maybe you're getting a number of someone then you just press here and you can write the number down and then when it's done you can save it or you can also click on the Q slide here that Q slide puts this in an overlay but now you can use the device so if you just wrote down a number and a name you can now go into context and add and you can add it while having it on your screen now that is useful even though it may seem a bit gimmicky this is LG's way of combating Samsung in the way they have expanded the functionality of Android greatly in their Galaxy series and in the Note series in their phones in general and this is LG's way of trying to combat that 
and and be a rival and so far the it's working pretty okay I haven't used it much um, but what I have used seems to work another big feature that LG has announced with this phone is the dual screen dual play this shows different content on your device and the TV which can be connected to the device either by MHL or Wi-Fi Direct or known as Miracast. This makes it possible to actually use your device uh, while you're watching a movie on your TV that you stream from your phone. This also gives some interesting possibilities for game development. But as long as this only has one device, you probably shouldn't expect to see many games using this feature. But it's interesting nonetheless. Another possibility is to have a presentation on the big screen while having your notes on the phone. Well, I suggest you join in later for my camera tour of this phone where I show off the camera and the feature that LG has packed into that version. Thank you for watching my video. And leave a comment and like down here if you like what you saw. You can also subscribe by pressing up here. Thank you and have a nice day.